Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBrick Studio. We're here in downtown Petaluma at the Pixel Core Studios. And uh, Mark wanted me to come in because he had something that he wanted to show me, something special. And I got here and there's no computers, there's no peripherals. So I, I, don't, I don't know what he's going to show me. We're going to kind of wing it today. Wing it like what? Hand no, puppets? no, no, I'm kidding. So I know you got a birthday coming up. I do. I, so I got Forever you. 40. Yeah, forever 40. <laughs> I got you a little something. You did? I did. You probably got me yeah, like a iPhone case or something like that, but... You know, no, you, yeah, you, you. You, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't I did. Have. I did. Oh, I've always a wanted new baby. a new baby, a new Mac Pro. Well, are we going to do something with it? We are. Let's, let's, no, no, I, let's. I, okay. you, so you want to walk away with it. it? Okay, so let's show it to everybody all right, here. So here's, here's if, the Mac Pro. So this is a new Mac Pro. And actually we've got, um, John's going to come around behind here to give a little close up because it's a little hard to see from that far away from our down set camera. So, um. This is the new Mac Pro, and uh, let's let's talk a little bit about what what you've got here. Okay, so first of all, on the outside, there's you know there's not a whole lot to see except for back here, where we've got uh, you know your speaker and headphone jack. But you've got these four USB three ports. We've got six Thunderbolt two ports. We'll talk a lot more about that stuff a little later. Two gigabit Ethernet ports, an HDMI port, and power button and receptacle power for receptacle. power. Receptacle for power. Yeah. So um, a lot you can do with this in terms of connectivity, and we're going to do all that. And now this is a very interesting little thing right there. It looks like a switch of some sort. Yeah, it can I, like wait, it's my yeah, yeah, it's no, my no, you present, so like, yeah, it's your present. So yeah, do like, it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So, okay. Well, now what? Lift. Oh, okay. And there's a handle. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this off here. And... So they say beauty's only skin deep, but that that's pretty thick skin. And so let's take a look at what we've got here. So if we turn this guy around. Um, first of all, this thing, you know, this is a brand new experience for this, it's very dense, it's very heavy. It's it very, is very, very heavy and dense. Uh, thick. So what we've got here are two graphics cards, all configurations of the Mac Pro include dual graphics cards. These are the AMD Fire Pro D700. So these are the top of the line graphics cards in here. Doesn't get better any better than this in terms of graphics. That's right, right now, dual GPUs, uh, each one has six gigabytes of VRAM. Wow, on them. So wow. it's very, very powerful in the graphics department, which has huge implications for both Final Cut and Motion. What's this stick of gum here? So that is the hard drive. That's the SSD. This has a 512 gigabyte um, solid state drive. So it's half a terabyte of solid state storage. Right, right. Essentially. In, this, in this tiny, in this tiny little wow, wow, thing right there. Wow. Um, for that's for its internal storage, and then there on the kind of there's kind of wings on the sides over here, and over here are the uh, SIMs for RAM. And in fact, uh, they're very replaceable. In fact, if you click that little upward facing arrow so, there. So I just push this and. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They just flip so out. I could just pull these out yeah. and. Put in, put, put in your own. What's in here now, these are each uh, eight gig SIMs and we've got two here and two there. So this is 32 gigs of RAM on this. You can go up to 64, but this particular one has 32. Sorry, I couldn't afford the, the 64. So, but it's a 32 gigs of RAM there. I just push this and then they, yeah. they go back, right back into in. place. And that's pretty much all you can see. The CPU itself, if you keep turning around, is kind of tucked away behind uh, this. And so we're not going to, you could take this off, but we're not going to go there in terms of disassembly as far as part is going to disassemble it. Uh, but that gives you a sense of, of what we've got here. So, yeah, let's put the cover back on. Let's plug it in. Let's plug it in. It doesn't do much good without a plug there. This is so wild. Let's, get, let's get put that in. And it looks like... Oh, and very you important. You probably want to lock this before yeah. you try to pick it up yeah. again, right? Yeah. Click. Now you can. Pick and you it can up. just pick. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's quite. It's very heavy. I could, do, uh, I could do reps. But you can <laughs> do some reps with these. <laughs> but it's very. You can pick it up securely. I love this as a, as a handle. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Is there a power cable around anywhere? Uh, well, what do you know? There's just a power cable right here. Awesome. All right. I, I get to plug it in. Plug it in. I get to plug it in. Here, here we go. Nice. Beautiful. And let's power it up. Oh wait, even before you power it up, oh. everything kind of lights up there. Just so you can oh. see what you're gonna plug into. So go ahead, power it up. And then we need a f I hear the map more chime. things, right? Oh yes, we, yeah, need, we need powered up. We need, like we need peripherals. <laughs> we, need, we need some peripherals. So first of all, I happen to have with me 
Apple's Thunderbolt display. Nice. So um, let's plug this guy in. So this display is a um, uh, 2560 by 2560 by 1440 display. So it's a very large display. It's a 69 aspect ratio, and uh, it's Thunderbolt. So we've got Thunderbolt. We've also got power. So I actually use this display at home to power my laptop. Well, that's right. It does power yeah, your laptop. Powers of course. my laptop. So nice. I, pl I plug this into my uh, Retina MacBook, MacBook Pro and use it there. But you can use it to uh, display it on the Mac Pro here. So let's plug this guy in one of the Thunderbolt ports. And then we don't need the power there. And immediately, it pops it jumps open. Jumps to life. Yeah, but we we need something else. So I happen to have Bluetooth, Bluetooth. keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. It's all set to go. So uh, we can pop that open and. Boom, we've even got uh, Final Cut up here and running, and here's a little uh, project that's on the internal drive. Okay. On, that, on that SSD drive yeah, that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, on that okay. SSD drive. And actually, speaking about, speaking about that, you know, this is all fine, but we're, I don't think we really have a full system well, right now, right? Uh, well, there's some other things definitely that would complete this, especially, I mean, you've got some, what, what is that, red footage on, on your drive? And I, I, I don't know what you have on this thing, but it just seems like you're going to run out of storage. Yeah, I think with, with a half a terabyte, it's fine, but uh, this is red, and I've got a lot of big productions, and this is just not going to fly, so we need right. some more storage. Well, it just so happens that your birthday's coming up. That's true. And I got you something. Oh, really? Yeah. So, hang on right there. You got me something heavy. Uh, yeah, here it is right here. This is, uh, this is your drive. It's your new drive. Wow, it looks like a lot of drives. It actually is a lot, a lot of drives. Um, in fact, it's a RAID for redundant array of independent disks. So yes, in fact, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In uh, fact, R8, meaning eight, eight drives. And why, why Pegasus 2? Why Pegasus 2? Because 2 refers to the new Thunderbolt 2 technology uh -huh. that's integrated that matches perfectly with the Thunderbolt 2 ports on this Right, Mac it's Pro. Thunderbolt 2, it's Thunderbolt and, 2. And of course, you're going to talk about that much more in, yep. the, in the next lesson. But this is capable of holding in each one of these bays a four terabyte drive. Okay. So, thirty-two terabytes of, of, out of, capacity. of capacity here. But because this is configured, what's known as a RAID five, uh -huh. and what that simply means is, it gives you um, what I would say security or redundancy. So, if any one drive fails, you can you can put in another drive. It reconfigures itself, and you don't lose data. And you so lose any data. You don't lose data. So okay. you get speed, but you also get protection in case one of the drives fails. And you have options to configure this in different ways. Right. right? It's, it comes fact, as a great file. Right. And we're going to look at some yeah. of that a little bit in a, in, a, in, a, okay. in short order here. But uh, this particular drive is configured not with four terabyte drives, but with three terabyte drives. Uh -huh. So what we have okay. is a twenty-four terabyte array here. Okay. So you're not going to get the full twenty-four because of one of the drives being used for. Yeah for um, security and backup. Okay. Uh, um, redundancy. Redundancy, thank you. Um, you only get 21 terabytes. Only 21 only terabytes. Only one terabytes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. That's a, so, really nice box. So, so how do I connect this to the Mac Pro? Well, let me go ahead and turn it around and show you. Let's see. By the way, don't recommend doing this while the drive is running. Yeah. Right? On the back, <laughs> there's, have, there's a there's fan not, there's and a two tiny ports. Fan, two ports. Yeah. Two Both Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, two ports. Okay. Which means that Thunderbolt uh, spec allows you to daisy chain these together. So you could theoretically, not theoretically, you could yeah. daisy chain six of these R8s together. Yes, Thunderbolt allows six devices in the right. chain. Right, so you could have up to close to 200 terabytes wow. daisy chained together. With six of these R8s. And by the way, this Promise Raid, you got me the, the biggest one. It also ships in a four bay and a, and six, a bay. six bay. There's an R6 okay. and an R4. Well, let's hook it up. All right, I happen, it just happen to have a uh, two meter Thunderbolt cable here. Nice. So maybe you can connect one side to that guy. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure we put there we go. And then I'm going to connect over here to the Mac Pro. I'm going to turn this around. Buttons. The reason I want to, as soon as you plug it in, it comes to life. Yeah. So it's there's the means yeah, on. So and it's just it's warming up, so the orange light's on. Yeah, you want to wait, by the way, uh, till this light goes. Com completely blue before we start doing anything. Right. Well, you'll, okay. you'll notice sometimes it won't actually show up uh, on the drive. It's going to mount on the desktop. So this uh, is this. Okay. It's, it's doing some internal checks, what have you, and then you'll really want to wait to this I light. I see the disk seem to be spinning up. Yeah. And there it's blue. And there's blue. Now. So wait a minute. So if I now go to the Finder and bring up a new window, well, actually, let's see if it appears on the desktop. 
There is Promise Raid. Oh, yeah. and there it is right there. And it shows up Can you just as, drag, as, it, as single drag drive. it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, right there. Single, it's a drive. single drive. Okay, and in fact, we already have a whole bunch of Final Cut libraries on there. So let's go ahead and select a few of them and open them up. So, and you can see how fast this is. It's immediately loading. These are some pretty large projects. These are all 4K pretty much for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, red, red, red epic shoots. And it just opens those guys right up. So, awesome. Thank you very much. That's, 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 well, thank you for my pro. <laughs> so when you go to your house and I go to my house, um, we're, we're gonna have to buy more, uh, more stuff. But, so, uh -huh. I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Um, this is great. And I, I love that I now have a super powerful computer and, uh, or you do, I should say. Yes. Um, and we have uh, a very nice display. We have awesome storage. The, the display is great, but how, I really want to see, I'd like to monitor this, this stuff. And this is 4K material. It's 4K and, and you're essentially watching it on a 2K display. Right. right. So I could always, you know, shift command F to kind of get a, a full display there yeah. and play it back um, full screen there. But I'd, what I'd really like to do is be able to edit here and monitor on another screen. So I'm glad you asked that because it just so happens I brought a 4K display let, with let me, me. Let me grab it. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't want to hit you back. All right. Can you move this forward a little bit? Yeah. Let's move this forward a little bit. And move that over. So that over. we're about to bring out a sharp 4K display. Let's set there. And maybe move this over to the right just to create enough. There we go. That. All right. Okay, so this is this is the new Sharp 32-inch 4K display, right? Right. Cool. And it's got a very interesting HDMI connector. Why is it interesting? And, well, it's interesting because we've got an HDMI, HDMI ah. port here too, and this display can actually be connected a couple of different ways, which we're going to get into more detail. Sure. But for monitoring, HDI, HDMI is great because it's going to allow us to treat this as AV out. So if we plug it in here, move this over, and just give everything a second here. Is there something in Final Cut you need to configure for it to well, for the What you need to, to do is under the window menu, go down and see if John can get this. We need to choose AV output to send the uh, Final video Cut Pro out. output. Right, it's Final Cut output to that screen. So there, yeah. and let's try to get it on a nice frame here. Um, so now what we've got is full pixel for pixel monitoring of a 4K image. So what's the real benefit? When you say pixel for pixel, why do I care if it's pixel for, for pixel versus not? Sure. Well, let's get into all that because we, okay. we've got a lot more we want to talk about. I right. think um, a lot of questions that, that we hear from people are like, okay, there's this really cool new Mac Pro out. Should I buy it versus an iMac or versus a laptop? And there's a lot of storage options, right? There's lots of RAID 0 options. There's lots of just single disks. Should I invest in something like this? Because let's talk about price for a minute. Yes. Okay, because we this is this is great. I mean, this is kind of like a top of the line setup. By the way, this is an eight core Mac Pro. You can get a 16 core. Four, six, eight, or 12. Or oh, 12, right. Four, six, eight, or 12. This is an eight core, um, 32 gigs of RAM, but the two, the top of the line graphics cards in here. So this particular configuration of the Mac Pro is $6,800. Okay, you can get a, a, a maxed out iMac for under $4,000 and you get a screen with it. That's true. So you have to ask yourself, well, what am I getting for this? And that's what we want to get into is why this might make sense for, for some people. Um, this promise raid that you got me is, is, is a pretty penny. Yeah, it's $3,600. Okay, it's $3,600. Yeah. For, and, but what but you're for getting, 24 terabytes. Yeah, 24 terabytes or 21 of, protect, terabytes. of protected media, 21 right. Right. in a logical drive, right. And then this monitor for doing 4K monitor, that's also $3,600. So what are we right, talking this, about here? Well, with everything, including this display here, this 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 Apple Thunderbolt display is a thousand dollars. So okay. it's altogether what we're looking at is fifteen thousand dollars for for what we've assembled here. So it's wow, it's actually worth more than your car. <laughs> no digs in my car. It got you here. It, 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 it doesn't it, need to get you home. Yeah. <laughs> so um. So anyway, we're, we're going to go, I mean, what we're going to do is go much deeper. We just wanted to kind of connect everything, show you how easy it is to kind of plug everything and get it running uh, and have a full 4K monitoring and storage and playback solution. Right. And as Mark said, over the next few episodes, we really want to answer those questions that you have. Should I, should I even consider this uh, right. versus another solution? So we're going to hopefully arm you with all kinds of useful information. And so we'll see you in the next MacBreak Studio. Yeah, stay tuned.